you've ever tried releasing your own music, I'm sure you've asked yourself the question, how can I make my music stand out compared to other people doing the same thing? Well, Nero Frames might just be your answer. In a market that's so overly saturated with a bunch of amazing talent, you need to find ways to make yourself stand out more than just your music. And one way to do that is music videos. And that's where Nero Frames comes in. Nero Frames gives you the ability to upload your own songs, where it will then separate the different instruments in your track to create stems, in which from there you can use those stems to create modulations for different parameters on your AI generation. And that's what makes this product so unique. And the guys over at Neural Frames were kind enough to give me access to the product so I could review it for you guys. So, let's get started. So starting off here, I want to show you guys just how easy it can be to get started adding amazing visuals to your guys' music. So here we are at neuroframes.com, hitting start now, and then from there we'll choose a new project, where we have our selection between two different categories of AI models. On the left, we've got the all-rounders, which are very good for pretty much everything. Open Journey will resemble Mid Journey, which we actually do have a video on Mid Journey on this channel. Then on over to my personal favorite, the Dream Shaper, Stable Diffusion XL. And then on the right, we're going to have the specialists with realistic vision and even some more photography, analog diffusion, and then anything three. Then scrolling down over here you can create your own custom model uh, by uploading 10 to 20 images of a person or style or object. For today though, we'll be sticking over to the standard models, the Dream Shaper. Now from here, we've got two different options. If you already have an image that you would like to build off of, you can go on over to upload image or video. But by going over to create new, we can use our prompts to get our very first frame. So let's do a swirling galaxy, purple and blue. Aurora, planet, fantasy. And then go to this button right here, we can actually find an artist style. This one seems very colorful and the style that I'm looking for. And then hitting pimp my prompt over here will actually give us a much more detailed prompt off of what we gave it before. So here it looks like it just basically kept the uh, the prompt that I gave it and then added on stuff like illustration, uh, cosmic beauty, and then we can go over here and change the format to either 16 by 9 or 9 by 16 if you want some more social videos. And it is optional, but we do have some negative prompt over here. We don't want anything out of frame or low res. We don't want any text or errors cropped or anything like that. And now that our generation is done, we can go check it out. These are beautiful. Wow. So we got two very different kinds of styles over here, and now we need to make a choice. These these are probably more accurate to our prompt, but these are beautiful as well. So I think I'm going to try this one. And there's our image and playback right there. This is, oh my, this is amazing. And I think I want to keep this prompt right here so we can just stretch this on out to the duration that we please. I think around five seconds should be fine for the first one. Now these next settings are going to be very important. So we have a smooth transition over here between the frames, balanced, and then trippy. And then something similar over here, no movement, chill movement is slightly zooming in and then look over some pretty dramatic effects. So I think what I want to have happen over here, I don't want to have too much, so I'm going to go smooth and chill. See what happens there. And then hit render from cursor. I do want to mention this here to be more realistic. The generation times are going to take a while. As you can see right here in real time, we're currently on, on frame 70 out of 125. So if you are going to sit down for a full project, I would recommend putting in your prompt, set your duration and what you want and everything like that. And then while it's rendering, go do some other stuff, whether that be doing your laundry, creating other prompts, making music, dialing in your mix, anything like that that can help speed along the time and then come back to it and then make your tweaks from there. Okay, but we are done over here. Let's go check it out. That is just, that is amazing. The detail there is crazy. And then from there, you can either tweak your prompts or extend it and just keep on having to do what it was doing. One important thing to mention over here though is that you're not locked to any of these settings. Once I hit render from cursor again, it'll have these settings in mind. I think I will make some slight tweaks over here to the prompt. Goddess smiles down on mortals. And then I'm going to hit pit my prompt and see if I can't work my new prompt into there. The goddess smiling down on mortals accompanied by angelic beings in the background. Yeah, that's that's cool. Then doubling the duration like that and then hitting render from cursor. All right, so as these generations do take a little while to get done, I'm going to work on it off camera. And then when we come back, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we did and how I got there. And in the meantime as well, if you do need to stop and come back, you can always hit save as and give it a name. This one for sure is going to be goddess, then hitting save. And then you can actually go and start a new project while one is rendering. And this time I'm going to be uploading an image and uploading a picture of Travis Scott right there. Then putting Travis Scott turning into a demon with horns and and wings. Completely other side of the spectrum. I want no movement here and balance should be fine. Once again, seeing it happen in real time looks pretty sick. Starting to add some background, getting some more horns in other places. Oh, it's building in the wings too. That's so cool. I right, so bouncing back and forth between the projects over here. Uh, the transformation between here and what it went into is kind of crazy. So she looks very 80s, ethereal, punk almost right there, right? And the more that we go on, she her whole like demeanor becomes much softer. This is where we put the whole uh, goddess prompt but just look at that though look at the detail master of the universe stars fall from sky okay so our rendering of the goddess is now done over here let's take a look at it let's continuing on with the theme that we had well she's getting a lot more of these like auras around here that's really sick let's take a second here to really appreciate this uh this other render that we're doing a travis scott right here let's just go through the motions so immediately we're on like a stage his horns are growing turning into more of a demon 
and then it just keeps on going. I love what it kept on building off of right here. It found what was really nice and kept on going with it. This is exactly what I wanted from this. One of the amazing features that Neuroframes has over here is by double clicking the audio track, you can either select some pre-rendered audio that they give you or upload a new one from your computer. So just for right now, let's go ahead and hit Metro and then hit select. But now these two modulation tracks have also opened up as well. So no matter if you pick one of the pre-rendered songs or upload one from your computer, the amazing thing that Neuroframes does here is it stems out different instruments from your track, like your kick, your snare, your bass. And then from there, you can use those stems to modulate different parameters for your AI generation. That's where things start to get really crazy here. So now the base of our audio will actually trigger a zoom in effect, but I think I'll change the two pan horizontal and now changing our modulation from our snare to our kick and then the modulation target from strength over to zoom and then you hit render from cursor and now our track is rendering so let's go and speed along that process now let's see how it went <laughs> All right, so that's going to be the full video that we looked at right now. I did add a couple different prompts over here to really change up the scenery. And now I want to kind of pixel peep a little bit and uh, go through each little frame that we can and see some of the amazing detail that we have. In fact, let me go ahead and put on my headphones now that we've got music. So as you can see over here, the bass had a pronounced effect on the horizontal pan. We're really starting to see here go to the side of the screen over here, which I thought would be pretty cool to have a transition to see that kind of star in the background, see that, that like planet that's... um morphing in like that so i wanted to put that as the focus point for the next part the prompt that i gave it was that i wanted it to explode which we can see right there happening in real time is so cool really really nice detailed visuals it's really nice now over here this was so cool so we can see this like being being formed over here with the planets and everything like that which then turns into the same lady that we've had the entire time but i love this whole like ethereal being that we had right here and then seeing it transform into what we already know is, is really nice this over here really catches my eye with the the swirls going on like it's almost like a portal and then the explosion that we have over there just keeps on going and transitioning until we really get something very different right here i put a different prompt over here and now they're basically now doing horizontal rotation as opposed to panning and that's how we get this really cool effect so now going to a whole different scene. It's like a transition. Now we're going into like that vortex over there, right? And then that's where everything's going to end. It is just remarkable what's possible here. I just really can't say enough about how beautiful these generations are. They're just, they're so amazing. Okay, so I am more than happy with this video right here. So whenever you are done with your project, going to the top right over here and hitting export video. If you have a more simple generation here, you can loop with a reverse clip, but mine has a lot of detail and a couple different scenes in here. So I don't think I'll be needing that as well as it does not work with audio, which I do want for the final video. Definitely want two times upscaling for the resolution resolution and allowing them to um, use my video for public purposes. And the render of the standard resolution is actually pretty quick over here. So now I can go over and actually just check it out immediately. <laughs> So the preview over here looks fantastic. Going to download, we can download that right away, but now we're currently waiting for the upscale to get to 1080p. And then after the upscaling is done, we can hit the upscale to 4K, and that's the version that I'll be downloading. Also, just as a few honorary mentions over here, I did a couple different uh, tests and everything like that. I wanna show you guys some of the like nine by 16 stuff. It's way more simple and basic than the one that we did here today, but this one reminded me of like, um, it looks like this is where Thanos threw Gamora off, you know, like to get the soul stone and everything. So this was actually pretty cool. And then also these portals that open up over here, really nice they like connected to each other here pretty soon they keep on swirling around just like that oh it's, it's real and then planets are popping out of nowhere it's like it's like the portals that popped up in, in end game when everybody joined the battle but that maybe i'm just reaching there i don't know all right, that's going to be all I'm going to have here today for Neuroframes. Guys, I can't explain to you how important it is when you're doing all this by yourself without a team, how amazing products like this are. When you don't have a videographer, a director to do your music videos and help you out with that sort of thing, or even if you're doing that all yourself, you don't have anyone to hold the camera for you even, it can be very easy to just upload audio, but that's not really going to help you stand out any more than anybody else. So I think that Neuroframes offers a great value to the future of your music.